Alright guys, so the goal again today is to go to graph a quadratic function. So remember that no matter what kind of function we have, you can graph any function by making an input-output table. So in this example here, f of x equals x minus 1 quantity squared. Because I have a squared here, I know it's going to be a quadratic function. But I can generate a table by just simply put, plugging in some x's and getting out their y's. So for example here, if I simply just copy this function for each of these, I can find out some different points. So if I take the actual function, parentheses x minus 1 quantity squared, because again, you're going to leave this x out of what you copy because you're going to be plugging in a number in its place. So I'll do this for all three of them quickly. So parentheses x minus 1 quantity squared, and I'll copy the exact same thing here for the last one. So I'm copying this over and over again for this example. And now to find out the output, I'm simply going to plug in each of these inputs. So here I want to find out when x is negative 2 and I plug it into my function, what comes out? So here what I end up getting is minus 2 minus 1. This will become negative 3. So negative 3 squared. And the negative 3 squared is going to be negative 3 times negative 3 because I have two of these. And that equals to a positive 9. So what that means is that f of negative 2 equals 9. And if I'm going to make a table, all this represents is that when x is negative 2, y is 9. So coming over to a table, when x is negative 2, y is 9. And I can make any points this way. So here to find f of negative 1, again I've copied this over the exact same way, but I've taken x out so I can plug in its place this value for x. So here if x is negative 1, I can plug it into my function and work it out. Minus 1 minus 1 is going to be negative 2. And then negative 2 squared will equal to positive 4. So I've now found a second point of this function that's saying when x is negative 1, y is 4. So when x is negative 1, y is 4. And I can do this over and over again and find more and more points. So here, f of 0, I can plug in 0 in place of x and work it out. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. And then minus 1 quantity squared is going to be positive 1. So f of 0 represents the point when x is 0, y is 1. So before we move on to today's first main note, text form, we're going to remember that you can graph any function by simply doing the work and making an input out the table by plugging in x's and getting out y's. With that then, today's goal is going to be how do we graph a quadratic function that's built in a specific way that can maybe be a little bit clearer or a little bit more quick. So today's first note here is going to be called the vertex form of a quadratic function. It's y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Now this might look scary, but the key here is that it's squared, so I know it's quadratic. So here are some of the key terms. First, the a value here is called the leading coefficient. So it's the leading coefficient. This is a coefficient that's attached to the x squared. Now the h and the k here in this formula, these two variables are going to represent a point called the vertex of, the, of this graph. This is why it's called the vertex form. So the h and the k are the vertex. So we call this the vertex of the graph. And as you guys saw above, this h number represents a horizontal transformation. So this number will tell you how this graph moves left or right. So this is going to be the h. It's going to be a horizontal slide. The k number here is going to be a vertical transformation so it describes how the graph moves down or up. That's what the k represents in this graph. And then lastly, the part that gets tricky for students is when you identify the h number, because there's a minus sign in the actual form, to actually identify it from an equation, it's going to be the opposite of what you see. So please be careful with this detail. Again, to identify the h number from the form, it's going to be the opposite of what you see. So if you see a minus 2, h will be a plus 2. So for example, if I give you this 
I made up an example. Y equals 2x plus 3 squared minus 5. You can see that A here equals a 2. Here's H and here's K. Now to identify H, since you see a plus 3, you'd say that H is going to be minus 3. That's the only tricky one when identifying A, H, and K. And to finish this first note, once we graph quadratics now, we know they're going to be U-shapes, but these U-shapes we're going to call parabolas. So the U-shape is going to be called a parabola.